Now in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at how we can simplify when we are dividing powers that have the same base. And really what we're gonna draw on in this case is how we simplified rational expressions by factoring. So I'm gonna expand two times two times two times two times two times two, six times, and I'm going to divide that by two times two times two times two. So let's, uh, let's cancel out any repeating factors. Two and a two, two and a two, two and a two, two and a two. And you can see what's left on the top is equal to two to the power of two. And I guess really we could say that's kind of over one if you want to think about fractions and simplifying fractions. But we don't actually need to write that part, okay? But you can think of it as being there. Two to the power of two. Now like the multiplying powers with the same base, you can actually see that there's a pattern here. Right? In this case, let's focus again on the whoop, let's focus again on the uh, on the exponents there. Sorry for the bad color. But you can see in this particular case that instead of adding, we have six minus four, and that actually gives us two. So from that, we can actually get a rule for dividing powers. And in this case, the rule is if I have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, as long as the bases are the same, I have a to the power of m minus n. So I can subtract. And once again, we can use this in a variety of ways to simplify different uh, expressions that have uh, this, the same powers or, or powers with the same bases. So let's try a couple more examples here. If I have 3 to the power of 10 divided by, I'm using the different division symbol, 3 to the power of 7, that is equal, that is equal to 3 to the power of 10 minus 7, or equal to 3 to the power of 3. Let's try this with, uh, with variables. If I have w to the power of 8 divided by w to the power of 4, that is going to be equal to w to the power of 8 minus 4, which is equal to w to the power of 4. So once again, just by subtracting the exponents when the base is the same, we can simplify that. And if you remember to see that, you can expand like we did over here. Let's try one more here. That's going to lead into the next rule. If I have a to the power of 6 divided by a to the power of 8, what that's going to be equal to is a to the power of 6 minus 8, which is equal to a to the power of 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Now that's going to give us a negative exponent, which probably looks a little strange at this point, but we're going to take a look at how to deal with negative exponents in our next tutorial.